What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Balanced Perception YouTube channel. Today I am back with another awesome product review. We are looking at the Muffa Jung, I think that's how you say that, red hair dye. You guys saw me do the goldish hair dye, which I was hoping would come out a bit yellow, but it was, you know, more goldish, so I still have to work on that, because you hopefully you saw my Zenitsu cosplay, and I plan on doing a shoot for that. I wanna make my hair yellow, but alas, I digress. That's not what we're doing today. Today we're checking out the red. I also have this Meron makeup that I bought. Um, I've never tried makeup before, but I want to test out my eyes for the Benny Morrow shoot that I plan to do. So we will be testing that out. I bought this off of Amazon. It was highly recommended to me and it had great reviews. So we are gonna give this a shot. It does give a disclaimer not to get it in your eye. Um, and I plan on putting it around my eye. So we'll see how that works. And also you probably noticed we are changing locations. I'm actually in the bathroom, so hopefully you guys can see everything I'm doing, but I have to have a mirror because I'm doing this all on my own today. So anyways, let's get into it. The Muffajong red hair dye along with the Meron makeup. Let's see how these go. So this is what it looks like when you first open it. Um, you know, I've taken it out of the box. It looks more pinkish than red, but hopefully when it mixes with my hair, it will actually become darker than this. I'm wearing one of my old shirts because even though this stuff doesn't stain, I learned that from last time, I still don't trust it. I don't know, maybe I have some trust issues with this product until I get more familiar with it. Again, this is only my second time. I've got my water bottle because I remember that I have to get my hair wet. So let's go ahead, let it down. Uh, we'll put that there and we'll go ahead and start getting it wet. Come on. There we go. Uh, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how wet you have to get it. I don't remember because if you guys saw the last video, Asia was helping me a lot, my girlfriend. So this time she's actually under the weather. So she's not helping me out with this one and it's to be expected, but Let's just go ahead and keep getting it a little bit wet. <laughs> and I don't know if I said in the last one, but it comes out very easily. I usually only do this when I'm actually getting a hair point within the next few weeks or so, but I do actually have that just in case. But regardless, even if I didn't, it did not stain and it was very easy to get out. Like I literally just washed it, shampooed it, and it came right out. So. My hair is pretty wet now. My hair holds a lot of water. Shout outs to people with dreads, you know the struggle. I mean, dreads hold so much water and they'll like retain it basically all day. But all right, so I did that. Got some paper towels here, you know, for any excess that gets all over the bathroom. Ugh, I cannot wait till I have my permanent set up, but I digress, so just gonna grab a glob like this and get to it, I guess. Um, let's see. I should have asked Asia more so how she did this, but that's okay. I'm so just put it here and start making my hair hopefully reddish. Just going strand by strand. You know, let's see, get all over my hands and it has a very characteristic smell. I remember this smell very well. It's not that it stinks or anything like that. It's just that it has a unique smell. So, you know, I was smelling it like the whole time I uh, had the other stuff in my hair. Even like when I went to sleep, I was smelling it. Cause you know, it was like a really new smell and it was unfamiliar. But this is looking pink. This does not look red. It's supposed to be redder. So maybe if I use a little bit less, it'll come out red or, I don't know, let's just see. Let's just keep going. I'm not gonna give up on it just yet. So I'm just like picking a glob, smearing it in my hands, and then grabbing strands of hair and yeah, basically rubbing it in. As you guys can see, I'm wearing a white shirt, so it's not getting on my shirt. And these are what my hands look like after. You can see like a lot of it's coming off from my hands onto my hair. It's a lot, you know, easier than I thought. I was really nervous about doing this, but it seems like there was not much of a reason to worry. 
So I'm just like literally just putting it in here. There's no method to the madness. I can just see what I'm doing in the mirror. Yeah, this is a little bit pinker than I wanted, but that's okay. Hopefully we can use a little bit of Photoshop magic and get this the way I want it. Hopefully you guys also saw the video that I posted where I edited at Dark Hyperion Cosplays photos. Well, just the first part of it where I, um, what's it called? Did the cutout. I posted that video. Oh, it actually is getting a little bit on my shirt now. You guys can see that. But again, it's water-based and I had no trouble getting it out of my hair last time. So hopefully I'll have no trouble getting it out of my shirt. Hmm. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Again, this product was recommended to me by a fellow cosplayer. I saw them when they did a Harley Quinn cosplay. They had dreads too. And they recommended this product and their dreads looked really good. It was like deeper red. So I'm not too sure if they used a different Mofa Jung <laughs> um, hair dye. If they use the exact same one I'm using, but we shall see. Just gonna keep doing this, so go ahead and stay tuned. <laughs> best way to describe it. I'm literally just grabbing it and using my hair as a towel as I put it in here. Hmm. Yeah, my shirt is getting noticeably red slash pinker. That's okay. Old shirt, reason I chose it. Get all this off the side of my hands. It actually goes like really, really quickly. I mean, it sticks to your hair very well. Like overall, so far, I'm not upset with this product. I like how easily it sticks to your hair. But, uh-oh. <laughs> you guys can see I got some on my forehead there, but that's okay again. So I'm gonna finish up a little bit more of this and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay guys, so this is the finished product. My hair is more, eh, I don't even know what color that is. It's more like purplish, magenta, I don't know. But not as red as I want it. It's still not terrible. But as you can see, it got all over my shirt. I don't know what I did this time. Maybe this is definitely on me. Cause last time the yellow didn't do all that. But again, this stuff is like very, water soluble so it comes right out so i'll probably actually show you guys the shirt after i wash it but this is what i've gotten to so far so the next step is we're going to test out this maron makeup um, i went and got some q-tips while i was on my little hiatus so i'm going to try to do this i've never done any kind of i don't know it's an ash eyeshadow i don't know but we're going to give this a go so yeah let's jump into this part now <laughs> So upon further evaluation, I realized it's not really a teardrop, it's more just like a streak as I zoomed in on the picture more. So that's what we're gonna try to go for. Um, I hope this, yeah, this is, I know, water activated. So just dabbing a little bit up from the palette and just going for it. So let's see. Huh. I get a feeling I'm doing this all of it, but it's a learning experience. 
The goal is to not get it in my eye. <laughs> of him again. See exactly how it's done. I'm so afraid of getting really close to my eye. I don't feel super comfortable with that yet. But I'm gonna get a little bit closer. Cause you know I want it to be as close to as possible I guess. I will of course link all these products for you guys if you're interested in doing the same. this and show you guys the finished product <laughs> all right guys so I'm not gonna lie it was not working out well so I actually had to go ask my girlfriend for some help and she got it to look the way it does I love the way it looks now a lot more um, it's more you know accurate whatever you heck you want to call it yeah I just like the way it looks a lot more now so that's how it looks the hair boom, boom, along with the eye streaks so I would say I can do the hair on my own. I just need help for the makeup for the eyes because I haven't practiced that a lot, but hopefully I'll add that eventually to my repertoire. But again, this was a nice review of the Muffajong red hair dye along with the Maron. I left the makeup kit in the other room, but you guys saw it before. The review of these two, um, I definitely would recommend them. I haven't had much experience in the makeup world and the hair dyeing world, but so far my experience with these two products has been really good. I will of course link them for you guys below if you're interested. And now it's time to move on to phase two, which is going to do the shoot. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna make that happen. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. And if you liked it, please like and subscribe. And until next time, stay boundless. See you guys, bye-bye. <laughs>